See, the Nakia's using the e-bike is stay under 15 miles an hour. <laughs> then it does the work for you. Who's no happy about it? The bus behind me, most probably. <laughs> well, at least it stayed dry. That's the main thing. Stay to our roads. This is nothing unusual, this is normal, this is all our roads are like this. And it's not even winter yet, so if you think it's bad at the moment, wait till winter, when all the crappy repairs were made every year previously, because they don't fix them right, won't them back up, and add even more potholes to the already um, roads that aren't fit for condition. Incredible, your vehicle needs to go through MOTs, checks to be safe in the roads. But I can guarantee you, as a motorbike rider, a cyclist and a car driver, I've damaged every vehicle solely on the conditions of our roads. They are definitely not fit for purpose. Shocking. Remember when you were kids, when you were younger, even if they'd done a basic pothole repair, they'd come out and then the big wagon would come out and they would compact it down, normally with a steamroller. Even for wheel repairs, they would definitely be a whacking plate anyway. And then they would use hot tar to seal the repair. And, uh, and people used to complain about, complain about the repairs back then. Now, they literally just fill it with crappy, um, stone chips which they rely on the weight of the cars to uh, compress compress it together and it's disgusting cyclists won't use cycle lanes and stuff the problem is the Scottish government during lockdown um, made a lot of silly choices regarding cycle lanes and roads and um, but for some of them it was good and you've got all these new cycle lanes popped up everywhere and cyclists don't use them and car drivers do or not now i'm a car driver and a motorbiker and a cyclist and i'll tell you why they don't use them because they don't get cleaned and they don't get maintained they're an absolute death trap so it's safer for them to take the chances uh, of getting hit with a car than it is cycling along the cycle paths because they don't maintain them. Roads are dug up, pipes are put in, cables are put in. So looking at I'm cycling on, for example, do you see any sealant, any tar? either side yet? No. So obviously it doesn't take long before it starts ripping up. So when it comes to things like that, obviously the companies that are installing the pipelines or cables or whatever they're installing, they should be held responsible for that. Normal road surfaces for roads in Scotland. And people don't even complain about it anymore because nothing gets done about it. I like a wee moan. <laughs> 